Inception. Do, 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 ring, rolling, rolling. As we're doing this, because how else are they going to get us up there? Look, is there any weapons? No. Okay. All right, then um, we'll leave. <laughs> over all the shouts, you, you can hear some of the clickings, and then all of a sudden, you're hearing basic words coming in and common that you, you, you as if you you could understand it all your life. It's strange. Uh, you hear them. It's um. You can hear big prize, big prize, monetary, monetary, love it, love it, great, great food. It's, it's all these clicks coming around. There's several of these clicks you can hear that are now being comprehended into words of big prize, monies, big prize, greats, foods, foodstuffs. It's it's a very, very rudimentary language that the three greens speak. It's all clicks and insect, insectoid like. It's, it's not one of these ones that we can understand or speak. But from what the the clicks and the spell is pulling to you, it's just s simple words, and it's um, it's yeah, it's very strange. But this the you can gather from what they're talking about and saying they're very excited the fact that they've managed to find use. Okay, I'm just going to turn around to everyone else and just say as quickly as I can. All right, they've got people up there that they're actually keeping hostage, but we're not safe here. I've no clue what to do, but. This thing is not going to let us go. We need to defend ourselves. Can I see what is connecting the uh, the sacks uh, to the bottom of the ship, as in ropes or whatever? No. Uh, the, you can't from this distance, no. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to do that then. Um, Ralph's... What is their plan? Are they going to uh, are they surrounding us as we speak? And I'm going to like have a perception check around Yours. the area to see if they're like trying to yeah. come in from the sides. Because otherwise, how are they going yeah. to get us up there? If you um, want to, uh, if you want to make a perception check for that, yeah, uh, by all means. Can I, can I shout down and call in, You're surrounded, then and Warvis. No, you're not. <laughs> 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 yeah, as soon as you say no, you what? No, not in Dwarves. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, and um, so did guide me in this twenty-one. Funnily enough, it's... as you turn in here, you're surrounded, and then you hear no, you're not in Dwarvish. You feel another <laughs> uh, another harpoon coming from a different direction. Like when you say different direction, above us or like left or right? Yeah. So you've from um. So to give you theatre of the mind. You are all standing on this, basically like a wooden kind of uh, barrier plinth thing. It's about mm -hmm. fifteen foot wide, quite long, thirty forty foot. Um, you've got the, you've now got four harpoons broken into just in front of you. Directly in front of you, you see the silken rope go up, and you can see this huge spider thing. Now, just above your shoulder, from behind you comes another harpoon with another silken rope. Looks exactly the same. Um, I like to think that these all keep hitting them. So no, no, no they're not hitting them. them. <laughs> only one, <laughs> only one oh. hitting them. That's why I got used to roll because <laughs> it's, it's too small a platform for you to be on, and it's getting closer now. Am I within? Am I within uh, thirty feet of any of the um, bad guys? No. Okay. They are, currently, they are currently dealing with the other... Um, you, did you describe what race you were, Ronan? Yeah, I'm a human. Human. Describing the human uh, as he was shouting across and whatever contraption they seem to have built to amplify the voice. Would I, would I still have any of my bows, my weapons with me, no? Nothing like that at all. So. That, would just, that would just be silly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love your I love your optimism though. So, so from here, uh, as you feel the the last harpoon come over uh, your shoulder there, Ralph, and we see uh, Daphne and Melgram quickly scurrying up one of the silken ropes, and uh, poor Gaz going e -e 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 <laughs> slide back down, <laughs> failing miserably. Uh, we will end that session there this evening. Interesting. Dun, dun, and it's the right dun. cliffhanger for me and you, isn't it, Scott? What? <laughs> 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 cliffhanger. The world of ah. glorium. What's going to happen? Are people going to die? Probably.
<laughs> That's the new theme song. We don't have any music. music. We're not allowed music uh, because you know reasons. Interesting Everyone, I can tell. Play some music. Was that um, <laughs> we're gonna have new characters every week, so characters can only last three weeks max. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I, I have again being the DM. It's an ego trip for me. I just like mm. killing these fuckers. Well, the one caveat is it means Scott's characters are always going to hate each other, no matter what it is. <laughs> and me and him are the only ones that have got to survive because we hate each other, and that's part of your hatred. Like, I refuse to Your die. hatred will fuel yeah. your survival. <laughs> yes, um, the wrecked goat. We get, we get technically, the wrecked goat uh, brings up a good thing in chat. We do actually have a guy for a cappella, but you know, it's David and he has the bard, and it just, you know, it's, it makes sense. We will oh, eventually right. find some royalty-free music. Yeah, well, if, if anyone knows of royalty-free music that we are able to use for campaigns such as the, the mutant one we do on Mondays, and this right. one, especially this one. I'm just, sure you know, there's D&D stuff I've not had a chance to look, but, like, mutant's going to sure be hard. I'm if we ask Bethesda, they'd have Skyrim contract. Off, we're we're off, off, uh, yeah, right, let's get back of to the Of course again. they will. Oh. Uh, yeah, they, they like yeah. to say we are finished. Enough. I mean, we've had like thirteen um, people all night watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, hey, go on, we eighteen at a point. It did. We picked the eighteen, yeah. which is pretty good. Again, uh, just on that. Uh, thanks very much, guys, for for watching. I mean, well, eighteen folk, that's insane. It was so really. nice of you all to subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah. I was so yeah, and send us money at this address, <laughs> this PO box. Uh, all <laughs> cash monies, all checks included. If you're no, poor, no, 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 no. poor a follow will do. <laughs> you, can, you can you can subscribe so by Prime. Yep. So anyhow, uh, we will we will call it an evening there. I think uh, again, thank you very much for joining in the first live stream of the world of Valorium. I have to say it every time now because Lee makes me. The world of uh, big thank you to in, or, in no particular order, although the order comes up on the, the Discord chat. Uh, David, Jim, Lee, Leon, Rachel, uh, Sally and Scott and of course the, the marvellous DM that is Dick Naylor who's currently and the vest thing is the, is a thing. All DMs wear vests, so that's why Rachel will be doing the next game of whatever. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> joking. That I've is a joke. Ends the rules. That is a joke. But the DM, the DM and DMs wear vests. She will DM one day. Yes, but not she, two she, days. she said she would. And unlucky, I will not wear a vest. She's just wearing a vest <laughs> for reasons <laughs> unknown. She will wear yeah. something different, is what she means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To clarify, yeah. she yeah, will wear. It's very warm in England because we need people to sit right. Anyhow, again, uh, um, I plug Mutant next Monday. Uh, Mutant Year Zero DM by me. Like half this group is here. Watch that. Mutant yeah, on Monday. Uh, if I, anyone else has got anything else to plug, I'm pretty sure a couple yeah, of my friends are in as well. Yeah, uh, the likes of yeah, I, I don't know if, uh, Namida no Samurai is in. He's a very good streamer as well. Twitch, if he's back on, I'm pretty sure Helpful Onions will probably be in there. Maybe even Sage of mm. Time. Again, we are going to start bringing everybody to it. Like yeah. any UK um, streamer, just follow us. We'll follow you there back. Is, there, is, uh, there is a setup on Twitch where you can just add put in a command and it'll give you links to their channel and say thanks very much for coming in in, in the chat so you can follow. But again, uh, yeah, can't find the option. I know, Wrecked Goat. That's, uh, I appreciate that. But anyway. Genuinely, it's thank you very much for watching. Link, that's how... Yes, that's it. So, so we're again, really just well, followers, follow right us now. so we can get the affiliates follow, and follow, then we can link you. That's all we need anyway, to do is get 50 follow followers. Uh, we will do the sign off. Follow uh, us. Thank you. Follow us. Follow yeah. us. Uh, like we say, do what Sally says. Follow She's me. a big ball of sunshine. Thank you very much for watching us and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye.